having completed the first drawing let us now draw the second one the second one I'll draw here so what I have done is I have drawn a reference line a horizontal reference line that you can see here and again I made a dot this is where I'm going to start the drawing from so from here I'll draw a line for 30 degrees and another line from the same point under 30 degrees you can see that I'm not using protractor I'm just using my set square to draw, the, to draw the complete drawing so now there are three axes which you can find here y axis the z axis and the x axis right now let us start drawing um, the drawing will be here will be placed here for your reference right okay you see we have to draw this one for 40 millimeters I have one two three four this is 40 millimeters from here to here is 40 40, mill, 40 millimeters and then the height here 10 millimeters and this one the height has to be uh, 25 millimeters I'm referring to the picture and uh, while I'm drawing this okay 25 millimeters is done and then from this edge I'm going to draw a line here which is 10 millimeters done and again so what I'll do is uh, you can see that this edge this line and this line is going to meet somewhere here now I'm not going to measure so instead I'm just going to write draw a construction line and then I will all so I know that this particular line is going to end here so I'll keep my set square here and draw the line so this way isometric drawing can be completed easily without actually having to measure every single line right now let us turn the set square here because we are going to draw the lines which go on this side now let me start from up 30 millimeters Okay, that's a 30 millimeter line and again another 30 millimeters 30 millimeters line similarly the next 30 millimeters line from here and then yeah they have, they are asking us to draw a 15 millimeter line so from here it goes 15 I'm using the set square to measure here so now this, this length has to be 30 millimeters so I'm counting as 10 20 and 30 30 millimeters now let me draw all the vertical lines this is where the vertical line comes right and here I'm supposed to draw a vertical line for 15 millimeters okay there you go that's a 15 millimeter line and we know this is 25 because here it says it is 25 so this should also be 25 so I'll make a 25 vertical line that's 25 now this edge has to be joined so let me turn this at square and keep it like this and then joined it again another line here which goes 10 millimeters it's 10 millimeters here move this at square from this edge again draw it for 10 millimeters like so let's join this edge like so okay again whatever it is now this one is um, 15 millimeters so I also bring this 15 millimeters but if you are not interested to measure it is okay all you will do is we will just project this line like a construction line and then I'll be using the set square like this so that's the height which I have to draw 
Let's put it so. Now join these edges. Extend this edge. Then close this particular open. That's it. Our drawing is done. I'm trying to remove the construction lines. I just erase all of it. That's how it is. Now the drawing is done. Having completed the drawings, we will have to draw the dimension lines as well. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to mark the dimensions in a given drawing. I'll show for this drawing. This one you can repeat the same thing. So first uh, draw the extension line. Now I'm going to keep my extension lines almost three millimeters. For example, from here to here, that's the extension line. Similarly, here I'll draw extension line. And for this edge, I can draw the edge. I'll just and when I'm drawing the dimension line, I'll draw the dimension line somewhere here, like this, and then use the arrows. The arrow has to be sharp. Shade the arrowhead solid, and then you can write the dimensions here. <clears throat> Similarly, when you draw the dimension of this side, we'll do the same thing here. Draw the dimension line. After drawing the dimension line, use the arrowhead. Dirty, like so. So, I'm going to complete all the dimension lines from here on. So that's how we draw the dimensions. The dimensions are also marked here. Now, similarly, you will have to mark the dimensions for this as well. Having completed both the isometric drawings and marked the dimensions, in the next video, I'll show you how to draw the orthogonal views of a given isometric drawing. We will consider one isometric drawing and draw the first and third angle view of the same drawing in the next video.